Hey, my name's Ken. Quick introduction, I'm relatively new to the fragrance community, uh, and I've watched all these videos of people reviewing Nautica Voyage, and I kinda wanna give you my take and spin off of this scent. So firstly, I wanna talk about why you as a consumer should buy this product. Next, we'll talk about how it smells, and lastly, what's it made out of. I'll give you my closing thoughts at the end of the video, and let's, let's get into it. So why should you buy this product? Well, it's cheap and it's mass appealing. Retail, it'll be 50, about $58, though you can find it at discounters for well under 20, uh, if you search around and look. It's a very mass appealing scent, why? Well, it's fresh, it's aquatic, it's out of the shower. Some people will attribute that cleanliness to sexiness, and others will just attribute it to cleanliness. As a unit, cleanliness could just be boring, but some people find it sexy. So take that of uh, what you will. Next, we'll talk about how it smells. So I had a lot of fun making this hexagon anime stat graph, if you will. The points to consider are the aquatic, the freshness, citrus, woody, musky, and sweet. They fall under a continuum of zero to three, three being the highest and zero being nothing at all. This scent comes across as very sweet, aquatic, and fresh with a backbone of woodiness, muskiness, and citrus. It's a very linear scent, Nautica Voyage, meaning throughout the longevity of the scent, it's not going to dynamically change too much at least on my skin and other people's skins uh, that have been annotated. So I wanna talk about now, the boring part, what's it made out of? Well, top notes, apple, green leaves, middle notes, lotus and mimosa. Though what's really cool with this is how the apple and the mimosa play together. So the apple, you're getting a very sweet and a tiny bit of citrus note. And then the mimosa comes in with a fresh cucumber powdery accord and they blend in really freaking beautifully together. You're gonna layer that with some lotus, you're gonna get more floral notes out of the fragrance. And to be honest, they overpower the base notes, the musk, the cedar, oak moss, and amber. You're getting some complexity and backbone to this fragrance with the base notes, though these four really shine throughout the longevity of the product. So, closing thoughts of Nautica Voyage. Should you buy it? Well, if you wanna smell fresh, clean, and perhaps a little bit boring, yeah, get it. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna keep you here for any longer than I have to. If you enjoyed this style of video where it's kinda of analog, please let me know. Future videos, I may take it to a more digital realm uh, so if that's something you want to see, and if you want to see more of me and hear more of me, please like, subscribe, and comment to help my channel grow because I want to provide you some mindless uh, content to consume because I have done the same for the past couple months. So, appreciate you. Goodbye.